Sure. Destined for success. Absolutely. And without sharing the names of any of those businesses, can you talk a little bit about some of the experiences that some of your students have had uh, this past semester or even anecdotally about some of the experiences they've had interfacing with local businesses? Or as you say, I know you're kicking off the mentoring program and, and that'll be rolling out as well as the interns, but have there been some uh, shining star or shining examples of students interfacing? Um, well, for Coastal, we have both an undergraduate program as well as a graduate program in, right. in doing the uh, internships. Right now, our MBA program, uh, we have a number of students who are part-timing in the MBA program, so they also work. Oh, good, um, yeah. And the, the internship portion really is uh, um, just starting. Okay. So a very we typically stage. want students between their second semester and their third semester to do the mm -hmm. internship, and that's that's where we are right now is the mm -hmm. starting of that. Mm -hmm. But we work with major corporations. Um, we had uh, Citigroup in. I think you'd mentioned Citigroup was in recently. That must be exciting. Oh. Hey, giving uh, them having an interest. Uh, we have about five different divisions of Citigroup that uh, work with Coastal, mm -hmm. and we have a number of folks uh, from students, I should say, from the. Uh, the School of Business and, and elsewhere, the, the, the Wall family has provided uh, generous support for Great. Uh, those kinds of programs. So the uh, Wall Fellows, we call them, have opportunities to do internships globally. Good. And so a lot of them go to uh, Citigroup in New York and London and other places. And it, that gives them a better dimension. They're a much better graduate. They have a lot better knowledge. They, right. Uh, they come back and educate, help educate others. Oh, yeah. We saw some very large companies uh, recognized recently at a conference, the International Computer Security Conference, which was held mm -hmm. in town a couple weeks ago. And oh, IBM sure. very well represented Dr. Stamey and Jean-Louis Lassay and uh, Steve uh, Shield, the whole crew helping to make that such a successful event. Folks in from all over, but the IBM representation alone to see those kind of folks and interfacing with students, both undergrads as well as I know some of your folks. Well, a lot of our faculty have uh, contacts with companies, so um, you know it's a it's a, a mutual benefit to the companies to have uh, faculty that understand the business and can teach their students mm -hmm. about that. Mm -hmm. So it just is a, it's a great relationship that we yes. have here. And, of course, with your international business background, will you be trying to bring a good bit of that into the program and expanding? Or I think you'd said uh, maybe a little more general. Uh, um, will there be a goal there? It must be difficult having such a, oh, yes. a wide uh, background uh, in international business. We, we want our students to, uh, to get that cultural immersion. We think that it's important to understand how the rest of the world uh, lives. It seems to me that... Uh, most of the, the students, just in general, um, believe that the world ends at the, the, the shores of the Atlantic and Pacific. <laughs> and while we represent less than 5% of the world's population, so it's important for us to get our students abroad, mm -hmm. somewhere. Mm -hmm. uh, we'd like to add a language component, foreign language component, to the program. Good. Uh, it's not a requirement now. We certainly would like to have internships. Uh, so that the students can go to other countries to see intern in other countries. Oh, oh yes. wow, great! And and we have those set up. So as our graduates are getting to the point of graduation, I should say, in the MBA program, they'll they'll have that opportunity. They can uh, study abroad. We can exchange them with other uh, major M MBA uh, programs, uh, particularly in uh, Western Europe, and they can work there. Mm-hmm. So you know, it's, mm. it's you know we're a relatively mature MBA program, although we're just starting. Mm -hmm. And so those those are the positives. Are are there some aspects from from the international business world that are beginning to make their way into U.S. culture and the business world? You know, when you think about leaving Charlottesville yourself, heading into the Unilever uh, was it the Unilever family mm -hmm. and joining a company like yeah, that? Yeah, Anglo Dutch. So Anglo right away, Dutch, uh, headquarters sure. was in Utrecht. So, right. Yeah. So right out of the gate for you, you began to see things. Were there things from your early days, or even over the your tenure there, working in an international environment, that you're now beginning to see really pervading uh, uh, the U.S. business world? Everything is global. I mean, uh, if uh, you read the front page of some of the papers uh, last week, you, you've seen that uh, Toyota has now eclipsed General Motors mm. as the number one car company. Mm. 
Mm. And so that's just that's the tip of the iceberg, and I think that people are just now realizing that whoops, they're playing in our sandbox and they're winning. Mm -hmm. And mm. so you know that's that's what we're seeing is an increased level of globalization. So if you don't speak Spanish, some some trip down to the uh, the resort area down here to the beaches, you'll mm -hmm. find that a lot of the uh, entry-level service workers only speak Spanish. Mm. Wow, John. So, so you have to have that, and that's, and that's that, coming. And that would be, of course, uh, that would not be indicative of Unilever necessarily, but that would be indicative of, uh, and, and it may be of Unilever. I mean, you know, they may be expanding that way as well, but for folks, I mean, in the Dutch environment, I was thinking of, I mean, uh, is that, would that be the language component that you'd be thinking of if you said you were going to wrap it in with the MBA program? It would be Spanish, is that right? Uh, for this area, right. it would certainly be Spanish. Mm -hmm. um, but I think that... Uh, understanding Mandarin, Chinese. Right. Yeah, I was about to ask, what's some of the other Three or four languages? times the number of people sure, uh, there. Sure. And in another 10, 15 years, you're going to find that the GDP of China will be right there with the U.S. Wow. So if you believe he who has the gold rules, <laughs> that, that money is shifting. You spent some time over there as well, John. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, I was a little while ago in uh, Shanghai. And to see the building, and I think one third of the world's large cranes are located just in the city of Shanghai. Oh, Lord, of the yeah. world's cranes. Are you so serious? That, oh, yes. That's a real figure. You know, there's real. Oh, yeah, it yeah. is. Oh, a third so that's, of the world's large cranes are located in Shanghai right now. Yeah, and so they're putting up buildings all over the rest place. are in Dubai and other places. <laughs> yeah, well, so, yeah, it's in Singapore, yeah, yeah. some of the uh, larger growing areas. So, um, well, the whole thing, I think that. What the viewer really needs to understand is that uh, um, that we used to have a sandbox here that was pretty much ours. Right. It no longer is. Yeah. So yeah. The, uh, it's important for Americans to get abroad, uh, and certainly for the business students to do that. Mm hmm Is there now a catch-up effort? We've just got a couple of minutes there. John, you know, you, th you mentioned Toyota there, and of course they've got a tremendous presence in the U.S. We think about states like Ohio or otherwise that have a gigantic presence of uh, Toyota and other very large. I don't know what the number companies. is, but yeah, um, gigantic number, I'm sure, and in other states. Uh, but as we see the infusion of those cultures into the U.S., and will there be a catch-up, or is it? Uh, is it? I, I, I'm just well, I think, to think that American innovation, and that's one of the things that we preached in the entrepreneur's book. The American innovation is, is superior. We, we can't have a uh, pat yourself on the back kind of mentality though. We need to train um, our students well. We need to train our workers to create value. Right. It's not just good enough to add value anymore. You must create value. And those kinds of people, the Bill Gates of the world, uh, really know how to do that. And we need to take pages from their book and become more like them. So. Uh, as an educator, we need to challenge our students to think differently. And for the U.S., we really need to show them what the rest of the world is like so they can start to think in a different manner. And, and you want them to even be encouraged to think differently in very large companies, I mean, which is difficult at times because, as you said, there are tremendous resources, but oftentimes... Well, a lot of those large companies are now well populated with right. folks from all over the world. Uh -huh. I mean, if you take Citigroup and FedEx and KPMG and uh -huh. GE, uh, when you walk into their headquarters, you can find seven, eight, ten different languages being spoken. Is that so, right? Mm -hmm. um, you know, and a manager today needs to be able to work with all those different kinds of cultures, mm -hmm. and that's what makes it a people business. If you if you don't have that skill, you're not going to be very successful. Mm, John, how exciting! So being involved from the, the ground up here as Coastal really begins to expand, as you said, being on the cusp of the new uh, Dr. Desenzo and, and Eddie Dyer moving in. Uh, the tremendous things that those two as a team will be able to do oh, yeah, to grow wonderful. the coastal community and grow the community writ large. It's very exciting. I'm sure you must be thrilled, you and your family. Oh, absolutely. And we're really looking forward to a uh, great future here. Getting your four grandchildren over here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah have they oh, been yeah. over yet? Yeah. Uh, not down to the beach. <laughs> they will very soon. <laughs> very That's right. Very yeah. soon. <laughs> Thanks so coming. much for Craig, being with Thank us you very morning. much. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Stay tuned to more Carolina Pete with John Locks coming up next.
Golly, I wish you could have heard him talking off camera. It was so exciting to hear him. And, and you heard those early words, small business runs the world. Even though John Interface has worked in very large companies, and he knows, and they really help keep the world going. But those key words, small business runs the world, I wish you could have heard him off camera sharing about some great advice he was giving to a local small business owner about an opportunity for them to expand. You know, we didn't get to talk to him about uh, his work as the past president and chairman of a boys and girls club there in, uh, at Mississippi State around that area in the excitement of being involved early on. We talked a little bit about co-authoring a book. Think about that, the, the American Entrepreneur's Guide and the excitement and the, the first part of the, this century to be involved in helping get the word out for small business owners as well as large business uh, employees, folks that are thinking about going out on their own to be involved in the small business world, either as an employee or as an employer. There's a lot that happens every day. John's also looking to expand and, and the entire university as a whole, the, the tremendous business uh, MBA program here at Coastal. You can go online to learn more about the program at coastal.edu. That's coastal.edu. Click on academics and then click on the MBA program. There's some tremendous information as well. How often do you get a guest that will give you his direct line to give him a call? He wants to get the word out about this tremendous program. Pick up the phone. If you don't have access to the Internet, pick up the phone and dial 843-349-2469. That's 349-2469. You'll hear some of those words of encouragement, either the same words he was given last week to a small uh, a business owner or the words of encouragement about thinking about Coastal and its MBA program as a route for you and your life.